Hey guys, it's Jeff, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can conserve battery life in iOS 11 by just changing a few settings in the settings app. So first things first, let's go into the display and brightness menu because here there are two to three options that we definitely wanna make sure are selected. First thing, make sure that the screen brightness is set at a level that is good for the environment that you are in. It doesn't always have to be cranked up to the highest setting, so make sure to kind of take that down a little bit and that will save a lot of battery life. Going further down in this menu, you'll see the auto lock option, which is a super important feature. If your phone is left on by mistake, the auto lock feature will lock your device and ultimately save you some battery life. I have mine set to five minutes, but you can select whatever works for you. The last setting in this menu that I would recommend changing is the raise to wake feature. This feature is sometimes annoying because when you hold up your device and don't necessarily want to turn it on, it does anyways. In the long run, that will take up some battery life, so make sure that is off to save a bit more battery life on your device. Okay, moving on to the connections menu at the very top of the settings app, you'll see that Wi-Fi is most likely turned on. If you are using data and aren't connected to Wi-Fi, make sure that this is turned off because your phone will be continuously looking for Wi-Fi connections. Next connection type is Bluetooth, and this is a setting that will definitely eat up a lot of battery life. If you aren't using Bluetooth, make sure that you don't turn this one off from the control center. That will disconnect all of your connected Bluetooth devices, but not turn off the Bluetooth. So make sure that you turn it off via this menu and you should be all set. A good indicator that Bluetooth is actually turned off is if you go back into the control center, you'll see that the Bluetooth logo is completely crossed out. The cellular menu is definitely one that you want to keep your eye on. The more data you use, the more battery life that is eaten up. So make sure that this is turned off if connected to Wi-Fi and also make sure that not all of your applications that are on your phone have access to data because they may be using data in the background without you even using the app. One thing that you might not realize is a huge battery drain is the Hey Siri feature. This feature is great, but when your phone is always listening for that phrase, it's bound to eat up battery life. So to turn off this feature, go to the Siri menu and in the settings app, make sure that the Hey Siri feature is turned off. The last thing that I would change is the widgets page. Here I have five widgets that load in the background and these will all waste battery life. Make sure that you keep widgets to a minimum. I would only recommend having about three or four just to save battery life. I mean, I have LifeX and Coinbase here loaded up and I don't really need them here. So if I take those down, I only have three and these three I would love to have in the widgets page and would love to have them loading in the background. So those are just a few things that you can do to conserve battery life. If you have any comments about this subject, make sure to shout them out in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to throw us a like, share with your friends who might be interested, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to see some more upcoming content. It's been great sharing all of these battery saving tips with you. Make sure that you stay tuned and I'll catch you in the next one.